people outside these walls, some of the press that are covering this, they don't understand the attachment that conservatives and freedom lovers have to Donald Trump, to the former president. They don't get it. They think it's some sort of a misinformation, cultish thing, cult of personality. Oh, they love the bravado. That's not what it is. I'll explain why we love them in one military analogy. I was a platoon leader in Iraq. I was an infantry platoon leader in the Army. And the one situation you know is the most dangerous situation that you don't want to find your platoon stuck in is what's called a near ambush. So you're walking through a neighborhood and you walk into a near ambush, meaning the enemy has, has the high ground, they're concealed, and you're stuck in what's called the kill zone on the X, and they've got you pinned down. Rifles, grenades, everything. You're right there in the kill zone. You don't want to be there. You're dead if you're in the kill zone, for the most part, unless you act, okay? The battle drill for being in the kill zone of a near ambush is, is definitely not crouch down and hope you survive, because it's never going to happen. Your only option is to immediately seek cover, immediately pop your grenade, throw it, and then charge toward the enemy that you still can't see. That's your only option if you want to survive. This is all metaphorically, of course, for the media out there. <laughs> right? Caveat necessary. It's your only hope. All right? Well, Republicans for decades, for years, have sat in the kill zone and said, just kind of like us. We're okay. We're not that bad. We're okay. We're nice behind our podiums, you know, dressed up like this, you know. Hey, everybody, we're going to cut taxes just a little bit more. It doesn't work. Donald Trump said, it's time to throw the grenades and charge at the enemy. That's why. 